and welcome back just like to remind you as per usual you can contact me through various ways uh, first there's a Facebook page uh, become become a fan I don't like to use the word fan so much but become part of the chit chat family uh, click like and you can also shoot me a message there also there's two email addresses uh, there's chitchat at columbusgrenada.com and also chitchat TV show at gmail.com. So send me a message. Of course, we're getting closer to the Christmas season. Uh, we got one more week of chitchat before we break things off. But next week on the program, I will be more than happy to include you in the celebrations as we look forward to Christmas as we're going to open the phone lines uh, just for you. So you give us a call. Let us know what you're doing. If you're changing curtains, if you're baking, if you're shopping, if you're just stashing all your money away and say, huh, no new curtains and cushions. Nothing new for me this year. I'm going to save my money because we don't know what 2014 has in store. But I'd love for you to give us a call next week during the program. So I'm really excited for this next segment now. I'm excited because, you know, <coughs> excuse me, River Road people in the house, boy. River Road people. <laughs> I did mention to you that I will have this gentleman here. He is here. And uh, lots to be smiling uh, about. Of course, uh, Junior Murray, you remember him debuting in 1992. Do I have that year correct? Very correct. All right. <laughs> that's... that's that's a long time ago. That's a long time, Junior. Very long time. It seems like yesterday. It seems like yesterday. How's, mm -hmm. how's things? Um, are you big into Christmas and all of that? I just wanted to find out how things looking for Christmas. Uh, well, I'm fine. I'm not really a big fan of Christmas. Yeah. I think the yeah. whole Christmas thing, but Christmas changes daily. They boys tend to lock up to themselves, you know. And True. I'm going to thank God for life and, and for another year, hope yeah. to see another year. And, you know, that's, that's the main thing for me. Yeah, man. Say, but this is his life and, and death. Yeah. Absolutely, I totally agree. And for those of us who have children, you know, it's about that. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we can talk about that. You hold on. Now. I got some questions for you today, buddy. I got some questions for you today. But Junior, first off, congratulations on uh, launching your cricket academy. Yeah, thank um, you very much. Yeah. How, how did that dream uh, start? You know. I, what was the beginning of that dream like for you? Were you lying in bed one night thinking about it? Did you experience something and said, you know, by the time mm. I reach X, Y, Z age, I'm going to do this? How did it yeah, come? I think it's just, just a dream I had, you know, yeah. from, from ever since, you know, playing for Grenada, playing mm -hmm. for West Indies, you know, I always want to give back something to cricket. I love the kids. Mm -hmm. I don't really have any on my own, but I love, <laughs> I, I, I love the kids, you That's know, and, and there's so many, you know, look, being around, there's so much talent out there, you know, yeah. and it's from the kids, you know, so I really want to, you know, help them to, yeah. to get uh, to obviously the pinnacle I got to, to myself, yeah. you know. At least well, during my time, I didn't really have the help as, as, as now with the kids now, sure. you know, but I want to help them. Yeah. You know, so probably one day when I'm sitting down, in, you know, in my fair cap, you know, I can, yeah. you know, I can see at least I had those kids to get to Absolutely. the now. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Let's go back a little, Junior. Let's go back to 1992. <laughs> your debut. <laughs> what were the thoughts going through your head? First of all, when you got selected, yeah. Ex explain the feeling well, to me. To be honest with you, I, I was working at the port at the time, mm -hmm. at the Green Port Authority, August 14, 1992. I can't mm -hmm. forget that day. Absolutely. You, no, you know, can't. Everyone came to me and said, they hear this news that they got selected to go to Australia and was in this team. I couldn't believe. Mm -hmm. you know, but being on the port there, I saw Mr. Walter St. John came. He was like my father figure growing yes, up. Yes. Came to me, you know, and tears in his eyes. Yeah. You know, he was so happy for me. It was like my dream came true. And, and we, and we both hugged in the middle of the port and both of us crying, you know, so, Aww. you know, it was just something I was looking forward to, you mm -hmm. know, it was, it was my dream. I didn't know I used to play soccer and I was going mm -hmm. to school playing soccer. Mm -hmm. From the time I had to play cricket, my aim was to play for West Indies, okay. you know, and I, I walked towards that. And it happened. And I have no regrets up to this day, okay. you know, and I changed my life a bit, you know, but, you know, it was a dream come true and I really enjoyed every, mom every moment of it. Yeah. You're actually a batsman, and then you moved on to wicket keeper. No, my main thing was wicket keeping. The wicket main thing was yeah. wicket keeping. And yeah, then I used to be a goalkeeper, so everything else just, just, just <coughs> switched over. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems similar, it's very similar. You know? yeah. So uh, I started there, you know, right. my, goal, my goalkeeping, and then you know, wicket keeping. Right. Mm. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Now explain that next, the transition of getting the news, and then playing in your first ever yeah. West, Indies, West Indies versus yeah, Australia. Australia. Yeah, 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 getting the news, you know, flying to Australia long, first time I've been traveling for so long. Yeah. Actually 24 hours of flying, yeah. you know, and get to Australia. Had to wait my turn a bit, you know. 
it was David Williams and myself, you know, playing for second, second, third test match. Third test match was in Sydney. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a team meeting and got the news that, you know, I was in a team and to play the test match the next day. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe that. Junior boy <laughs> playing test cricket, you know, and, you know, I was there, couldn't sleep at night, you know, you know, couldn't wait to get to the middle. And you know, when I'm there, you know, at least, I just still couldn't believe it, you know. You know, Ian Bishop was bowling at the time, I was keeping the force over the day, you know. At least, I, I realized when I, at least when I caught my first, in my first ball, I said, a junior, you're in the big things now, oh, right. just took it, West Indies, you know, and took my first catch, mm -hmm. you know. Mark Taylor got out, you know, for Ian Bishop, I took my first catch and said, yeah, junior, this is the real thing now, you know, so at least, it's just to stay there now, keep performing and stay there now, so. Mm -hmm. It was, these are some times I could never forget. Yeah. Did you have any feeling of pressure or intimidation, you know, playing with these, these mm -hmm. other mem members of your team who probably and most likely had more experience than you did? Did mm -hmm. you ever feel intimidated? No, at, I, at at least I wasn't feeling intimidated. I just wanted to perform. <coughs> I guess mm -hmm. one at least. This is the highest level. Yep. You can't come there and, and obviously form the fool. You got to yep. keep the performance level up there, you know. So I just wanted to perform, do my best. And, and I knew the world was watching. Mm -hmm. Green Hula Grenada was watching. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to perform at least, put some pride in what I'm doing, represent the West Indies, myself, and my country well. You know? So yeah. that, was the, that was the main, 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 main thing. Yeah. Let's talk about the ninja in between the name. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you the title ninja? Well, to be we honest, all knew Junior Ninja Mari. Yeah, Let's talk about the ninja. It, it happened in Jamaica at mm -hmm. least on the 19, 1987. I can remember playing in Jamaica. You know, and I was flying over the, all over the place, <laughs> standing up to the fast bowlers, taking stompings, flying, taking catches where no one ever did. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Jamaicans gave me the name, and it's Junior. This, this guy's a ninja. You know, that's what I said. <laughs> and, it, and the name just, the name just there, stuck. The, the just stuck there. And it just and stuck. I took some catches whereby we could see that ninja, a ninja did it. And if you yeah. remember Australia again, I took a catch on the leg side. Mm -hmm. I had to go a few feet and, and flick over. And, oh, yeah. And, and, and you know, <laughs> I guess love to play, let us perform probably. I love the crowd. When I'm playing, hey, yo, I love the crowd. That's, that's where you get your whole yeah, your I, rush. Yeah, I get you a vibe, I get a yeah, rush. Yeah, when yeah. I'm not playing, I don't like the crowd. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. A bit of mean action there. Wow. You know, but these are some days, you know. These are oh, some yeah. days you'll never the, forget. You know, yeah. In days it will cherish. Cherish. You know? That's what yeah. I was just about to say. Yeah, cherish, cherish those these days, moments. Yeah. You know, we all get our opportunities yeah. to shine and we have to make the most of those moments when, moments, when we yes, get yes, them. Yes. Yeah. We have to. I want to go back to your academy. Um, tell me about the age group you're targeting mm -hmm. and how's, how's things progressing because I know it's actually, it's been launched since November. Yeah, it, start, it started, started about two weeks ago. Right. Uh, in Tantin, St. George's. <coughs> so I'm, I'm going to start it for now. The age group is from 5 to 15. Nice. I'm not going to go past 15. I'm going to take it from the yeah. kids, nurture yeah. them from, from small and on. Yes. Hoping yes. to move to the stadium whereby we can have a bit more professional look about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm looking. On. It's all excited. The kids are coming. I was just about to ask you yeah. what sort of responses yeah. the have kids, you been The getting? kids are coming. The last two weekends, more and more kids coming. Good. My phone ring every day, emails every day. Parents are interested, Good. you know, so at least. And, least and, and another thing, I'm being invited to some of the schools to come out like, chit chat to the kids, Very you good. know. I think it's good. I think that's one of the things we are lacking in this country. I think, like some of us make contributions, and we just when we finish playing, we just go by the side. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I think that is bad. I think probably something has to be done about it. The children can know us. The children can know yeah. who made a contribution before, even though before they were born. Oh yeah. You know, and I may go into the schools and junior more to the school. And the excitement. Good, good. You know, the, the kids are excited. You know, they heard about junior. They seen junior in person. These are right. something that we need to cherish. You know. Yeah, and I think the the act of giving back yeah yeah it's really important as a human being who've experienced mm -hmm. so much and you know you can you have a gift you have a talent yeah. and you'd love to share this with the young people yeah, with the rest yeah, of the yeah, world yeah, yeah. the giving back factor is always so so yeah, so so important, important. Yeah, yeah. it's very mm -hmm. very important um I want to get a little bit about it because you know we're not just talking about the academy we get a real true vibe because this year is like this I feel like this is a long overdue interview Okay. So I'm going to try to squeeze everything in no problem, in the no little problem, time that I have. Yeah. <laughs> Not a problem. Tell me, tell me a little bit about um, your your reactions to cricket now. Well, I, I love my cricket. I love it with that passion. You know, I still I still play a bit when I get a chance. I play mm -hmm. a bit of Masters here and there. I still mm -hmm. go at you know we have a Masters tournament in Karakou yeah. in April every yeah. year. 
I went to Jamaica a few weeks ago to play a bit of Masters. You know. So I still play, I still love the game. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a, a, a young club called Upsetters mm -hmm. in, in Grenada here by. I work with them. Most of the guys, kids are under 23. We have a proper club, you know, sponsored by UN Insurance, you know. Right. And, you know, I, I, I love the game. You know, I, I still play, I just train hard. I still, you know, do what I have to do. Keep stay myself fit, in shape. Healthy, yeah. yeah, do what you got to yes, do. Yes, for me, I'm not really playing the show, but mm -hmm. for me, you know, I guess I have to keep myself fit just in case. Junior, come play a game here. You never know. I'm ready, you, you know, know. So, I say I love the game. You know, I'll do anything for the game. You know, and, and, and now for the kids right now. Yeah. Can I put you on the spot and ask you how? What's your thoughts on West Indies? Uh, there? Well, <laughs> West Indies. I think we have a <laughs> we have a good bunch of guys playing for West Indies right, mm -hmm. right now. But I think we need to get back at pride and a passion in the game. You know, I think yeah. the game has changed a bit. Yeah. You know, 2020 came along and everybody gets all excited. Yeah. But for me. Cricket is test cricket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Five days. If you cannot bat for a day, I don't think it makes any sense. You know, mm -hmm. anyone can go there and hit the ball. Sure. You know, 2020. But when you tell it to bat and go there and bat for a day, day and a half, you know, yeah. make a 50 score 100, you know, I think that's cricket. Yeah. I think we need to get back that, you know, that kind of hunger and passion for the game, you know, you know our, our team at the moment. True. But we got a good bunch of guys, I think. Yeah, yeah. Once you put it together, I think we can See do some well. Serious, serious results. Uh, yeah. Tell me about one of the most humbling moments in your in your career, Jim. <laughs> what would that be? Well, I think you know, humbling moments. You know, coming back to Grenada in 1993. Mm -hmm. You know, being in Australia, talking to my parents. You know, they told me they have something planned for me. I took on my way back. You know. When I came back and I come off the plane and see everybody over there shouting Junior Murray, I think. Yeah. I think that was something I could never forget. At yeah. least it was, it, was, it was touching. Yes. Couldn't believe that the people appreciate me so much, you know. You know, but sometimes at least it's good. Yeah. But sometimes you go there and you fail and the same people come back and, and want to pressure you. But mm -hmm. you gotta remember that we are we are human beings. That's right. You know. That's right. I'd be saying getting to the top is easy, but staying up there we we don't go there to go there and try to fail, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, like I think that that's, that's, a, that's yeah. a, a, a very good moment, you know, yeah. I think it was yeah. touching the people all over me, you know, I, I couldn't forget that, you know, yeah. motorcade and all those things, you know, so one of the most humbling moments, I think. You know, it's a pity we didn't have social media and all those things back then, you know, Junior, because, you know, we, we would have some serious stuff in the archives right yeah, about now, know, you know, I know, I know. but, but it's, it's good for people to remember that before Kirani and, and everything, yeah. there was Junior Murray, you know, I who think we did tend, a I lot for... I think we for tend to forget quick in this country. Yes, yes. I mean, there a lot before me, at least. <laughs> True. You know, the Ajamo was there. True. The, the, the wherever. That so thing. much, we so tend, much. We tend to forget quickly. We, yeah. we, we love the hype. Yes, we do. Yeah, but when we don't know what time, you know, we finish playing what, what we love and I yeah. think yeah. we tend to forget us, you know. True. But, True. And I think it's, it's something good. I think we need to remember the people that, that make Absolutely. contribution for the country. It's not about ourselves, it's Grenada. That's right. That's you know, right. being out there, I, know, I can remember going to Australia for the first time. Yeah. No one knew where Grenada was. No one knew Grenada. Yeah. When I said Junior Moy from Grenada, they think it's Grenada. Yes. Said, no, not from Spain, not from Grenada. Grenada. Yeah. You got to teach a bit of geography and tell yeah. them oh, exactly yeah. where Grenada is, oh, you yeah. know. But I think we need to appreciate our own people a bit more. Very true. Very true. MBE awardee. Just being an MBE member of the British Empire. Yeah, member of the British Empire. At least I think it's an award from the Queen you know, for my contribution to sport. And mm -hmm. what does it mean you to know, you? <laughs> it means a lot to me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it means uh, a whole lot. You yeah. know, being recognized by the Queen of England, I think, is something that I always cherish. Yeah. You know, have my medal. Have my have my, my, my medal at home still. You know, you know. But when the, when the Queen body comes around. You put on your jacket and your blazer and you oh, go to the yeah. governor general and you have a, you know. Yes, yes. You know, I think it's something, Ali, it's something you cherish. You true, know? true. Ali, any, anybody don't get those kind of awards, you know, Very so true. I think I'll cherish it. You've uh, listen, you've accomplished quite a lot and a lot of people are still unaware of your accomplishments. I want to show you an image right now and I want you to tell me what was going through your mind at that point in time. <laughs> now, we know this gentleman. This, this mm. is an amazing human being who's recently passed. Um, and this was in South Africa. Yeah, in South Africa, and you got the opportunity to meet Mr. Nelson Mandela. Big moment. Tell me what was going yeah, no, through your at, mind at this point. In it was time. a big moment. I think here, a youngster, I'm 24 year old at the time. They're hearing about Nelson Mandela, and as he went to his to, to, to his prison, he went to his cell. It's just mm -hmm. like a small, mm -hmm. a small, at least I say, like a small cell where he spent all his life. It's like a peel in there, and mm -hmm. it's just pure concrete. And he went to the whole, the whole, the whole area. Mm -hmm. Took a boat and go across on the ferry, and you know, 
and and meeting him at least, I think it was one of the, the biggest moments that, that, that's in my life too, you know. Yeah. Shaking him under the hands, his hands were so soft, Aww. you know. <laughs> could never forget that, you know. Yeah. And sadly, he passed away now, but, yeah. you know. But he, it, he's, it, it's, he's, it's, he's left a legacy, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a legacy yeah, that absolutely. we're going to remember. You know? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. And well, I'm very fortunate to have a picture there in my house. Yeah. I have nice. it up there well framed in my Good. house. And, you know, it's worth millions right now. Go, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Go change that. Yeah, I'm not going to sell ah, the picture. Right. Now. <laughs> you ain't yeah, selling at all. Sell what does it mean to you? And I can't not ask you this question, but what does it mean to you being from River Road and having accomplished so much? Well, not only me. Yeah, you I know. From, you've been from your yourself. <laughs> at least we are neighbors, very close, at walking distance. True, true. You know, I know. I, I, I think people tend to say River Road, and I think mm -hmm. it's you know yeah. the place that you know all thing happens there. Yeah. But I always say, Junior, where you're from, River Road. I'm proud of my, I'm proud of my village. I'm proud of River Road. At least we are accomplish a lot. Mm -hmm. Being from River Road, and I always be proud of my, proud of my village. At yeah. least and. I'm sure you put off your road yourself oh, too, yeah. you know, where you all come oh, from, yeah. you know. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. It, it, you know where you come from, it, no. what you want to achieve in life, what, right. you, what you want to achieve in life, what you That's want right. to work towards. And no matter what happened in the road, at least I grew up among people who smoke, drink, I, I yeah. don't do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's, it's up to you what you want to achieve in life, and no one's going to pressure you to do what you want to do. It's up to sure. you yourself, you know. So True. I'm proud of my village, I love the road. And you know, I'm going to always say I'm from the road. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. How do you stay? Give me, give me a little idea and give our viewers a little idea as to, you know, how you, how you maintain focus and, and how you stay fit and, and do all that good stuff. You know, well, at least I'm, I'm not playing the sport at the moment. For me, you know, it's all about health, it's all about life now. Mm -hmm. At least I'm 45 years young now. Yeah, man. My 46 birthday next month, you nice, know. Nice, nice. I'm looking forward to that. I think back mm -hmm. my age, I'm 45. I don't really business, you know, but yeah. I take care of myself. I, you know, I exercise every morning. You yeah. know, I try to eat and drink the right things, you know. Sometimes my friends ask me, do you want to live to 150? I say, no, at least I don't want to live to 150. I just want to take care of myself. The, the big man gave us three score 110. <laughs> Anything I got is bonus. You understand what I'm saying? You know, so, gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, at least you got to love yourself. You yes. got to carry yourself in the right way. At least everyone knows me. At least I got to carry myself in a proper way, you know, yeah. conduct myself right, you know, and the kids look up to me. So That's it. That's you know, it. It, it. It helps a lot in my, in my own personal life. It does. Mm. It, it helps a lot with the Junior Murray brand, mm. like I was reading. Tell me about partnering um, with Made in Grenada. Well, at least Dexter is my good buddy. You know, so Dexter he's, Mitchell. You know, he's, a, he's one, of the big, one of the main person behind this whole Junior Murray Academy, helping, yeah. me, helping me a lot. You know, we play, I play a bit of celebrity football. Yes, you know, we yes. go about the country playing sport, give back to charity. You know, and I, I think it, it's good playing among all the celebrities, all the all the, yeah. the, all, all the Calabasonians playing football, we play cricket together, you know, I think it's good. It's good. And we have to go to closure next Tuesday. Right, yeah. Next I'm going to do his regular thing, give out his Christmas gift to the kids. Mm -hmm. I have some equipment I'm going to give back, give gift to the people in closure whereby they can use and so for, for, for the game, you know, so. Mm -hmm. I'm, happy, I'm, happy, I'm happy with Dexter. Yeah. Yeah, happy with the Made in Grenada band. They're doing pretty well. And yeah. At least I have a big song out now at the moment, you know, Salty Pork. Yes, you know. I'm still to yeah. see it, you know. Dexter, I'm, Dexter I'm still to it, check it out. Dexter I got to check it out. It, you know, you know, so <laughs> it's all about fun. It's all yes. about giving back a charity. Yes. So what we can do, we, we'll do it. Excellent. What, what is one of the strongest messages you'd like to give to kids? And I mean, you go, you, you go to schools, etc. What What would you say is one of the messages, mm. key things you deliver to those kids when you, when you have those well, talks at least, in school? They got to set themselves goals. Yeah. Uh, you gotta be disciplined with everything, you know, and you gotta be uh, put pride and passion in what you're doing. Yeah. And one other thing I would try and tell them, don't let anyone, I, I don't believe in peer pressure. Yeah, good. I don't believe in peer pressure yeah. at all. Because yeah. no one can make you do what you don't want to do. True. If you don't want to drink, no one can make me drink. Nobody can make me drink alcohol. Yeah. I'll tell them I, I prefer wear it. I, won't, I, I wouldn't drink it. Yeah. So I'll tell the kids, you know, be disciplined. You know, set yourself goals mm -hmm. and don't want any make anyone make you do what you don't want to do in life. Yeah, yeah. Love yourself, you know, treat yourself the right way. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you're down the road, you're going to decide in life what you, who and what kind of person you are. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's when we start getting older then we realize. Then we realize. <laughs> and I should have made this decision instead of that one, you know, because there are repercussions. And especially if, if you, you are a public figure, I mean, it's so important I know, I know. to maintain a, a certain level of standard. 
you know it's so 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 important you want to you want to make mention of anyone who's or, or persons personal persons who've been really um not just inspirational but really had fundamental roles in in your career starting way back in yeah, the 90s i said way back the late kenny Upson. yes yes you know i think he's the one that had me playing cricket at the moment you know because yeah. i can remember the old queen's park playing the pumpy station in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, the uss playing against autumns and he came to me and said junior at least you gotta make a decision yeah football or cricket i decided i'm gonna play cricket you know i think he was like a father figure, Mr. Yeah. Walter St. John. Yes. I couldn't forget Ashley Wam Folks. Yeah. Because he's the one that Ashley Wam Folks, if you, if, if you knew me playing for playing cricket and playing for West Indies, you know, I used to be getting out one specific way, like before wicked. Mm -hmm. You know, and Ashley Wam Folks is the one that took me early in the morning with a wind ball, wind ball, wind ball baton to the Point Beach, walking me, walking me, walking me. Mm -hmm. And then when he finished with that, you no, know, I went to play a game. Wimble Islands versus the Leeward Islands in Antigua. Mm -hmm. And I made a hundred. Mm -hmm. You know, playing against the likes of Cotley Ambrose and Kenny Winston, Benjamin, you know. And I made a hundred. Yeah. And, and from there on, that's where I got selected. So these are three people that really, really stand out with my parents, you know, yeah. guided me along, you know. So I think the people that stand out in my, in, in my career. Yeah. Every mm -hmm. time I see your dad, he's just not as tall as you. But every time I see him, I'm like, my God. Goodness, Junior looks so much <laughs> like his father. Yeah, my it's, sister told me, I'm getting older, like, I'm going I'm, I'm wow. to look like my dad now. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, Mr. Murray still got those broad shoulders going yeah, for him, you know. He still keep going. He can't stop. He can't stop. Anytime yeah. he stop, is, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, they got to keep going. Got to keep yeah, going. Once your body is allowing you to yeah, go, you gotta I keep say going. go. Mm, keep I going. say go. Fantastic. Junior, I want to congratulate you with everything that you've accomplished. And I know that you're going to venture into new things new things and new accomplishments for the new year and far far beyond and it was really this was long overdue and i'm really happy that you're here to not just share your story and refresh my memory a bit but to share your story with the viewers and refresh their memories as well mm. as to why grenada fell in love with you firstly that's junior Jamari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, so thanks, you know, any, I hope final, that, any final? Yeah, I guess we'll better New Year can, you know, I'm going to try to get the academy bigger and better. Yes, yeah. I know starting St. George's and as time goes on, trying to get to different parishes, you know, but even Karaku. Yes. You know, so we're in the, we're in the stage you now, we're going to have a launch in January. Mm -hmm. Early January, we have a proper launch and then, you know, trying to, trying to get it bigger and better, you know, so Take that it can yeah. be something really proper for the kids and yeah. play, probably playing games against, you know, the different parishes and so forth. So yeah, things in the making. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're in the creeping stage you now, we're going to yeah. walk one day, so. I'm really looking forward to it to get really, really big and Good. hope I see the kids, you know, produce and produce well in the future. Absolutely. And like they would say, forward movements. Always forward. <laughs> Always forward. Thanks, Lexi. Thanks, You're welcome, me. bro. You're welcome. You're welcome. Folks, I've been chatting with former West Indies uh, cricketer, Mr. Junior Ninja Murray. I know he doesn't mind me saying that. Of course, he was also a sports ambassador and MBE. Hope you enjoyed this segment. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.